think we do any of these. We'll save these for next time for the shark. It's... Oh, Wrath to Face, of course. I forgot. It's six damage. Oh, I forgot about that. You're right. Oh, I rolled a three. Ah! Come on. Yes. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're bringing back Control Infinity. I think finally this deck is uh, not only going to be as good as it was before, it could even be better. Uh, this is a really strong control deck. What you're trying to do is every single time the plants play something, you just try to remove it off the field. Uh, Bungie Plumber is really good at that. This is good at taking a Haunted Pumpkin, one of the only cards that can really deal with that. Um, if they happen to play, let's say, Forget Me Nuts, we do have an answer to play uh, the Trapper Territory or to knock it down with the Fire Rooster the next turn. Actually using Kanga as a control card, uh, this is primarily to take out Admiral Navy Bean. The fact you play this on the field actually makes them uh, sort of have to front it because for all they know, this might be a Swashbuckler and uh, this will at least be able to set up a kill the next turn. For example, Kanga on 2, maybe Fire Rooster on 3. Uh, the 2s the, the in this deck, it doesn't seem like Infinity has very good controlling 2 cards that can actually take out what they play on turn 2, so I'm sort of working with what I got. Obviously, uh, Spilling Fruitcake, you usually don't want to use on a 2-drop, you want to use on something bigger. Uh, sort of running this as a backup. Now, the time that this deck really shines is from turn 3 and on. Uh, the Line Dancing Zombie is an extremely effective control card because uh, wherever they play the minion, unless they exactly, you know, predict Line Dancing Zombie, which most people do not, and they front the zombie, this will be able to chase down whatever they play that turn, uh, destroy it, even it can even destroy team-ups, for example, Peas with, let's say, Torchwood can take out two cards for one, plus hitting their face for three. Uh, absolutely amazing, and the Wrath uh, typically can take out almost anything that they do play on turn three. Now, the heart and soul of this deck is the Pogo Mix of Gravedigger. This will continuously bounce cards um, back into their hand, and then you can play Mix of Gravedigger to get the Pogo back into the Gravestone, pop out, and bounce, bounce another thing. Uh, the Shark is really important. Very often, you end up with like a lot of lanes clogged. You put the Shark then in the in the um, water lane. Uh, not only will this sort of set up, this is a bit of a setup for the finisher. You can end up doing a lot of damage with the Shark if they can't remove it. Uh, this also works very well with the little bits of damage on the uh, that we have in the game. For example, example, if you have any of your Trapper territory set up already, this will do one damage to a plant uh, during the attack phase. It'll actually die automatically if you have a shark uh, on the field. It also works very well with Fire Rooster in a similar fashion that does one damage to things. It works with Conga, works with Plumber, so a lot of value out of the shark. The big finish in this deck is the Plank Walker, and uh, one reason why this deck is actually, if anything, more powerful than it used to be is the uh, level of pirates has just risen so much. There used to be that most of the pirates were little, you know, two or three cost guys. Now you actually have um, plenty of pirates that are really big, beefy guys. Even like Frozen Viking is a 4-3. And of course you have Gondola that can come into the field. Intergalactic Warlords. Just so many things, let's say since set one, that we used to play this deck a lot. So many cards have been added. Uh, much more powerful pirates making really Zombot Planeswalker big. This itself is a 6-6 six, six strike too. This is definitely the finisher of the deck. Uh, I think this deck is going to do well. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's just get right into it. What would be the weaknesses of this deck? You know, I, I was playing, you know, just to make sure that we have enough things to take out beans. Um, it seems like, you know, big minions are not going to do well. Small minions, we should have enough, <laughs> enough trapper territories to take them out. What would be the weakness of this deck? You know, even high health guys are typically good against control decks. We have Poco Mix of Gravedigger, which... It should be able to take out, you know, the big Pirate big Booty is best plank walker drop kappa. Pirate Booty? Oh, you're right. That has been added too. Um, this is interesting. This trap might be good. I'm gonna keep the. Well, I don't even need the free kick really. Mixed up Grave Digger. I'll, I'll keep this hand. It's not great. You don't necessarily want a plank walker in your starting hands. You really would like to get a barrel. Um, a, a bungee plumber, I guess, is probably the best thing. But he skipped turn one, so you, we always... Again, if they pass, you usually pass. There is a way to play this deck like a tempo deck. For example, if I was against Wall Knight, I would... You know, I had a Fire Rooster and a Line Dancing Zombie in hand. I would probably just play those and bounce something with a Pogo. You can actually go tempo if you want. I don't think nut decks are going to do well. We can always bounce out the... You know, the mirror nuts and stuff. And by the time we get to play them, you can already have a shark on the field. Let's go with this. I'm actually playing this on the ground to bait out his environment. His spikeweed sector might be tempted to play here. There's Lily plus Bonk Choi. 
Interesting. Uh, the problem is if we take out the Bong Chai right now, it'll prevent 5 damage, which is worth it. The problem is he'll just get another shot out of the Lily next turn, so we have to do something about that. I'm gonna play this here and perhaps, you know, I might be able to take out what he plays on Heights plus Trapper this, which will kind of die over the course of two turns. <sighs> Bonus attack, you're weird. Destroy a Gravestone, damn. Grave Buster getting it done. Ugh. Okay, so I'll play Trap. We're we're still doing okay. We're gonna have ten health and a full block here. Five months. And Love the, your streams. By the way, you can call me JJ because my name can wear it to say. Okay, thank you, JJ. Really appreciate it. What is the play now? We can actually do this, and fruitcake will actually get us back into the game, which is cool. It's nice having those fruitcake in case, again, there are some tempo decks, are the, it's so interesting he's playing a tempo deck. Tempo decks are the way to beat, to beat at what control. Uh, I think we'll do this. Why not? Um, we're basically going to fruitcake this 5-5. Five, five. Is that his whole play? Everything of his dies, Lily dies. Tempo decks can sometimes get ahead of control. We never, didn't have a bungee plumber, that's why we couldn't take out the Lily a little bit earlier. Uh, I guess we'll just fruitcake this thing, huh? Then we'll come in with Shark next turn. Enjoy your card. The card advantage is really not important when you're doing like any way a Poke makes a grave to deck. That dies. Now the board is completely in our favor. Everything's swinging. The question is, do we go with mixed up Gravedigger or Shark here? Um, Shark. See, obviously, all five lanes are clogged. You can't put anything in this hat in this environment, or else it died. It's gonna be dead. That's fine. So that takes out half of his play, and the other one is gonna Captain Jewcumber. Nice. I guess we'll mix up Grave Digger here. Mix up Grave. We actually it's turn seven, so mix up Grave Digger cake definitely works. Right, if he uses the removal on the sharks, then the plank walker just becomes better later. We're in great shape here though, and these little infinity clones are so good. So it's gonna be mixed up Grave Digger, uh, fruit cake. The will very likely play something big here. A gargantuar deck. I mean, Gargantuars have problems. We've spoken about, about this a lot in the past, but... Um, interesting. This dies. I believe we fruitcake this. I don't think the card he draws right now is that important. Let's just get rid of the damage. Uh, we'll still be at 10, which is obviously a lot more comfy than 6. Um, the reason you don't want to use on the highest level, on the highest level of the game, the reason you don't want to use just a bunch of guards as your finishers is when you play, a, let's say, a guard, they can just destroy it with Shamrock. They're very easy to remove. Um, where does this Plank Walker go? We could go Shark Kanga. It's really not bad. Is Sh What's better? Shark Kanga. He'll have to remove, if he removes this, so is the... If he has another Shamrocket, this is definitely the target. Shark Conga looks quite good, though. This is probably better than Plankwalker, because the little Conga will be able to... First of all, it clogs this lane, because, you know, Trapper is, is active. The Conga will be able to... He did Shamrocket that. I was thinking the Conga will be able to zap something down with the Shark where this survived. There. We can always go Plankwalker, actually, you know... If we need to regrave the the plank walker, you can do that, of course, in this deck. Interesting. Uh, let's have him not draw another card. We can also proc his block a little earlier, like this. Um, nothing of ours dies here. Do you think Valkyries are okay without Fruitcake? I mean, again, the Fruitcake really does take out their biggest weaknesses, which are um, Wingnut and stuff like that. What is he planning on here? Colonel Corn? 
Oh, that would suck. So Colonel Corn wins. There's actually nothing we could do to prevent that. No way, he can't have Colonel Corn. Where did he even get this from? He said, I'm thinking it's a Kabloom hero. It's because he got this from Exploding Fruitcake. Can't have Colonel Corn. Okay, let's just do this. It's in the box. For him, for him to have a... Okay. For him to have a third... You know, we can either Plumber or, or Gravestone here, so this should be fine. For him to have a third Shamrocket, it's not so likely. Starfruit. Luckily, we have this guy. It doesn't matter, though, because we win. This is so cool. I believe that the these get blocked. Anyway. Yeah. This theoretically prevents lethal. Um, because this will actually kill them the mix of Grave Digger, but not if we do this. Uh, that should be lethal. Yes, got it. Bungie Plumber, getting the win. Thank you. And yeah, that's how it's done. Welcome, Kimmy. <laughs> he YOLO'd so hard, I don't... It wasn't even much of a YOLO. He wasn't really gonna... The Plank Walker anyway would have gotten down to two. We really could have bungee plumbered him in the face there. Theoretically, that would have won too. You don't have enough control for this to be a deck. I don't know what you're talking about, man. This is probably the best control deck in the game. All right. Against Rose. Bungie Plumbers earlier are nice. Um, there's really nothing that the Rooster does in this lineup. This should be fine. We'll get the late game eventually. How many games do I play? Uh, typically with control decks, I do eight games since they, you know, you're obviously stalling for a time, so they go slower. I'll probably play eight. If for some reason the games go fast, I'll go for 10. Do you think this game is pay to win? So, I, no and yes. And I actually say no first. No, because you can hit Ultimate League without paying a penny. There's so many people that have done that. It does take a while for that to happen. In terms of having the freedom to really make the top, top tier decks in the game the absolute best, it is pay to win. There's no way based practically to do that without paying unless you plug away for, you know, years. Um, you know, grinding grinding every every resource as possible to even get in this game. We're just control against control, so we should be able to do fine. Um, you know, but you can you can you don't need the top top tier decks in the game and already hit ultimate league and, and be very competitive and have a really, really strong win rate. Um, all you really need, you can do that with budget agro solar flare and budget sports decks and all kinds of stuff. There is some a lot of free to play potential in this deck still. When's the last time you did Gravestone Infinity? Uh, not since that one. I'll probably do Gravestone Infinity in the free-to-play account. Wow, does not have a Gravestone answer, so we start off with a hefty 5 damage, and we can actually re-Gravestone this right now. We're definitely going to do that. Look at this play! What in the world? Now we have 10 damage on the field, and we can actually add add 3 if we want. This is just a control rose relying completely on tricks and does not have any gravestone bounce, apparently. That just happened. So we have two choices. One is we can bungee plumber this. Uh, the other choice is we can strength and go for 8 here. Uh, this was turn 6. We'll have 7... This will heal for 1. We're going to mix up Gravedigger anyway next turn. Let's do this. And we'll do the mix up Gravedigger and we'll do the strength next turn. You know, this would add three damage, then our opponent would heal for one, so. This is disgusting. It's just going to be mixed up Gravedigger all three turns. They're just going to take over this game. La dee da. Here we go. So now we can Bungie Plumber and. I guess I should have put this on the ground so that this would have been an option. The environment. But we can Bungie Plumber and Strength now. What's going on, cool MG? Welcome to the stream. Why don't you use Blob with ramping anymore? Um, when ramping anymore? Again, it's it's ramping to one card that costs six is a lot different than Blob. Blobby needs so many brains, and the you don't get, wow, 
what? <laughs> Did he just top deck this cool bean? He must have. Damn, son. That was absolutely insane. Oh, what a play. The best budget decks are, are, are Solar Flare and Smash. Just look them up on YouTube. Just type in Fry Em Up Budget. You'll, you'll see all my budget decks there. Damn, son! <laughs> it's okay, we're taking seven damage and one of our playing uh, mix of grave diggers die. Big deal, he's two seven eights on the field now. So we can either go for Plank Walker, which we have a lot of freeze, obviously this is a freeze deck. We have a lot of freeze risks right now. Pogo, Strength, Environment. Pogo, Wrath, Environment takes out both of these, actually. You can go face. <sighs> I'll do the Pogo play next turn, I suppose. Give me something good. I'm putting this in the water because we absolutely cannot afford to get Swabby. I also, yes, wow, wow, wow. Getting Warlord there, absolutely amazing. Um, I, I just don't want this getting frozen and then dying to one of the snowdrops. This is going to be the biggest one, you know, almost always. He's going to he's gonna freeze in a damn, he's destroyed. Uh, we'll do the Poco play. I think we're still in decent shape here. No way. What is going on? You you pass, 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 and you come in with freeze combos? Ugh. That cool beam with the snowdrops was a thing. If they don't have barrel barrels in this deck anymore, that would be useful. There's that. Uh, the Poco does get it done here. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is doable. <laughs> I think we're still in okay shape here. We'll get the we'll get the rooster. Messed up the last bit donate. Now have the rest of my bits. Keep up the good work. It's Thank my sister's birthday and I'm feeling generous. Thank you so much, Sherla Grange, and happy birthday to Sherla Grange's sister. Really appreciate the support. Could you stop? What is this godlike hand this guy has? Holy smokes with that. Come on, man. Should I have gone for Wrath on this earlier? Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, that happened. Look at this hand. Get this weak stuff out of here. Good. Is it too late? I don't know. If we get a Plank Walker, we're actually right in this game still. That actually helps. Oh, we could have gotten deadly and killed those. These are three twos. Amazing. I think we're actually in good shape. Please don't get weed whack of all things. Just get Godify. Thank you. I think we're gonna win this game, to be honest. We just need a good drop there. That's it. I'm that's seven. He, he's gonna need another cool uh, another what's it called? Another uh, winter squash in order to take this out now. We do have strength and an environment. There's another warlord. <laughs> Swabby's gonna be a 3-3. Not bad. Some top deck madness there, but we're running the four plank walkers. I'm really happy. I, I was running three before. That mog is okay. We can just strength anything here and win, basically. Wing nut. Weed wax that. It's still guaranteed uh, for one off. 
And Wrath to Face should win next turn. Unless our opponent heals. I guess we can do this. Uh, is there any... There's no actual point in doing this, though. I'm just sticking this back in there. So we have six and Wrath to Face. So we definitely should win this game. Our opponent also only has one card, so you start thinking of combos. Very limited. We're gonna win here. Really putting any minion here usually wins anyway, so if we would actually have not just all of our environments in our hand, we would have a minion to play in lane two. Damn! No! Oh, exactly a three! Holy smokes, that was so close! I'll give him the BM, because why not? Damn, he actually top deck a heal card. Got him! I feel really bad for that guy, actually. Holy smokes! Unless he had a heal, he just... I must have top decked that, right? Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, he's lucky. That's pretty good. And thank you so much, Pixelized Pair, for the sub. That's the Amazon Prime sub. Oh, uh, okay, huh, let's do this. No, we need Fruitcake against Walnut. Let's look for a Pogo. Yes, this is a good hand. You, I like tennis. I don't know. What is this? Mola? Who the heck is Mola? We're actually just gonna play this like a tempo deck if this Wall Knight doesn't make plays here. I don't think one damage to face helps us at all. I wonder if he's playing control though. He, he was playing around Swashbuckler, of course. My guess is we're gonna go 8 and 0. Optimistic, of course. So that goes here now. Which fossil cards do I recommend to craft? You know, I don't have it clear which are the Colossal Fossil and which are the Triassic, so I'd have to take a look. But if you want to give me some choices, I could, um, I could definitely help you out with that. Miss Blobdex. Hammer, it's so slow. Haha! <laughs> wow, does that to prevent two damage? That is desperation. This is fine. The Pogo not get not getting a bounce there. His play sucked. And yeah, it's gonna get it one here. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Tennis is awesome. You play tennis, do Dig a dig a hole. Plank walkers in hand. That's nice. I, we'll try to proc a blocks for the for the mix of grave digger here. Or not. This going face is fine. It really sets up the. He's so low on health. This is gonna go to face. Box the block. Just cycling through his blocks, really. Leaves Pogo on the field. You fool! Deadly? It's about as good of a deadly as we'll get. Can also wrath to face. Wait, how much should we use? This was six to sevens coming up. It's about as good as a deadly as we'll get, I think. It'll clean a lane up. Oh, that's our turn seven play. Um, so it's gonna be seven. Would I wrath to face here? Just to get the damage in? I think so, actually. He's so low in health. Getting him to seven here should be fine. We're gonna be able to mix up. We can't use this anyway next turn, so we're gonna mix up Grave Digger Plumber next turn. Now, this takes one damage. No one cares. Gets him down to four now. 
Now the five damage from the mix-up grape trigger wins. In fact, Bungie double Bungie Plumber wins sometimes also. Let's do it like this. Is your heat out? It's actually really cold in Toronto today. I actually fixed the air conditioning problem for the most part, but the um So we'll definitely bounce the extra damage. <laughs> he adding help? It's not gonna help, okay? Uh, and it's guaranteed lethal. In fact, yeah, it's guaranteed. Goodbye. Three and zero, didn't even need Plank Walker. Oh, baby, a double? No, he can't roll triple threes. He, he fronted both of our guys, which gave us the option which one to bounce. In fact, fronting neither of them would have been better, because then uh, there's a 50% chance the Pogo would have been first, and then he would have had a shot at blocking. I like the hood. It's, the hood is awesome, too. It looks like kind of like Cyber Rogue. The color is actually off because of the green screen. It's a little bit lighter than that. Uh, Nightcap. Ooh. Rooster might be good. I'd say Line Dancing Zombie is better than this. This is decent. There we go. Oof. It's a pretty good hands against Nightcap. Should get it done. This is really good against Nightcap too. Not only does it take out these, you know, one health team ups, which he has plenty of, it takes out plenty of the grapes. Super important. Um, I don't know if we conga right now. I think plumber and environment is better. Or nothing. Nothing's also a good option. Pass. Uh, I'm gonna go line dancing zombie on heights just to play around um, Planet of the Grapes and a guy in the in the ground lanes. Or two guys. Uh, I'll, I'll... Wow. I'll, I'll definitely trade this in. Um, which one technically is better? Hard to say. The buff shroom or the shroom for two? That's all I have to do. See, this takes out the team ups. It took out two of his two twos, and, and, and we're, we're in fine shape. We are a little behind here. Uh, this will take out the, the remainder, and then we can actually plumber something, perhaps. This should be fine. This should have gone on heights again. Fry him up versus Uff him up? Look like a green shadow. That happened. This is fine, so we can play the environment or the plumber here. No freaking way. Okay, so it's going to bungee plumber this. We'll take out the three threes. Look at this guy go. He's running out of cards, which is the good news. I think this does more damage, and we really like our block meter. Because if, well, if he plays two guys next turn, this does the bullseye. Okay, that should be fine. Kind of, that's such a key card kind of to kill us. So we're down to eight with a full block meter, so we, we should be okay here. He only has two cards left. He has not gotten this Planet of the Grapes, of course. So the play is Kanga Wrath? Or Kanga Environment Gravestone, perhaps? That's not gonna get it done. Really? I think it's just like this. <laughs> OTK Shroom. Not a good matchup for him. Roll a one, yes. Blocks a three. The strength doesn't help. Ooh, we don't have early game though now. Oh, sh damn, we're so screwed. Where is our. We need a little more early game. How did this guy not run out of steam yet, is the real question. 
He hasn't blocked yet. <laughs> He needs four damage to win, which is quite doable. He needs anything with four damage. I mean, Sonic Bloom usually wins. Please, please have mercy. Wow, he didn't have anything! Oh! Oh, man! What is this last card? It must be another environment or something. Damn! Oh, he just caught the break of the century. That was crazy. Question is now... I think it's mixed mixed up gravedigger environment environment is the play. Maybe it's a maybe it's a grave bounce. Eh, let's, let's do this. It's worth it. The two environments will be able to sort of take anything he plays out here. What is he setting up? That was a rough pass. Damn. Son. Cattail is actually pretty brutal here. We do have the answer to this, though. I guess if he blocks and blows the shark, we lose. Please don't get blow. Nothing else really helps him here. More spore. Nothing else really. Come on. First of all, he got one in three of getting blow, and then get the mix of Gravedigger. Yes. Okay. We're alive, ladies and gentlemen. We alive. Now we just need something that does one damage. Uh, we could really use a, um, a bungee plumber here. We're gonna maybe clog, we just need to take out, he's in a top deck situation now. So we need to deal with the cattail and then any minion he plays. Please don't get berry blast, there you go, that's fine. So... Um... We still die to, we still die to... Well, jumping bean's not gonna help. It's like this, every lane now is clogged and then we wrath the... We wrath the cattail. We should be good here. Should win here, actually. Berry Blast is basically the only thing that could save him. He he has one card in his hand. That's whatever he pulled off the top of his deck just now. Yes. Um, and this is actually the play. GG. Exactly it. Alright, 4 now. Whew, that was actually really close. So wait, so what did he have that he didn't play? He had, um... Interesting. <laughs> that was so close. It seems like Sporticus wouldn't have helped against the Wrath. Um... It seems like this should be an amazing matchup for us. I guess he just got his buff shrooms exactly in the right time. We don't have like chickening in this deck. If again, if we would see a lot of people doing that deck, we would just add some chickenings into this deck. You have to play around the meta. I don't think we're gonna see a whole lot of buff shroom buff shrooms basically was the problem there. Uh, we're probably only gonna get eight games in today. Who knows? Okay, okay. Kind of see what you're doing here. Um, line dancing zombies are quite good against this guy. Against forget me nuts, this is fine. Which of these do we keep? We definitely don't keep both of them. Now we'll get rid of this because we have four. This should be fine. The wrath will come in handy later. We're actually probably going to now play Tempo since we have Infinity Clones. This is one to the two to the three to the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Doctor. Okay. Um, I would like this to not hit that thing so the Fire Rooster actually gets extra value. Got it. Ooh, that was perfect. So now he can't ready to rumble, you know, the Fire Rooster plus one of these guys. Uh, we're just going to play this like Tempo now. This is going to, I'm going to show you that again. Tempo means you're getting more stats on the field than your opponent every single turn. Uh, this deck definitely has that potential. It's not the way it's built, but there's certain situations and certain matchups that you're going to do that. And certain starting hands. I mean, we have a great turn three and turn four play coming up. And that is so slow. I mean, he had an answer to one out of three of our guys and wasn't even to the strong one, so... Um, so we'll go with Line Dancing Zombie. This is almost always going to go to lane one. Oh, is the Flaming Ninja guy here? I can't actually even see him. 
Um, is he causing problems? I need to do the... For some reason, if I block someone's pr private chat, uh, it also blocks their, um, their messages. One second. I'll, 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 I'll just go check on it. It's fine. Anyway. He's always kind of been a troll. He's disappeared for a while. I guess this goes here. We're absolutely ruining this guy right now. He's a kid, Flaming Ninja. Remember that guy from like a year ago. He's just a kid. This is so sad, didn't even get super. I wonder even if we play Mix of Gravedigger, considering that one of the only things that could possibly get it done for this guy would be a one drop and then a, then a Grave Smasher thing. I don't even know if we dig her here. Easy. Five and up. Um, thank you, Panda Eat You. <laughs> really appreciate the comment. Got him. This is going pretty well. Okay, um, bum, bum. I think having a gravestone earlier is fine. This is a decent hand. Do we get rid of the mix of Gravedigger and look for a two? And the twos really aren't even a thing in this deck. I'll keep them. Oh yeah, so do we play tempo? Stupid prick. So <clears throat> Where is the damn? Where's the fire history? That happened. It doesn't have uh pedal what is, what's it called? The what is the that card even called? Pedal morphosis? No, that's the kaboom kaboom one. Photosynthesizer. guess like this. This can actually get through this walnut, which is nice. <sighs> okay, goodbye. Never come back, please. You're interesting. Okay, so we're gonna go with. We could go with Wrath, guys. This actually makes the guy more likely to hit this one. I think we'll go with this. Go line dancing zombie. Guys. Okay. <laughs> I can see you. Okay, you're annoying. Guess the guys is still worth it. What tier is this deck? I think it's top tier. It's going on sale. 
This will actually die to one damage, which is a thing in this deck. Blocks. This drum power is not horrible here. Protect Mog. Mog sucks. And I got Protect. It's not bad. What's on the five menu? Oh, it's these two. So we'll Wrath Plumber. Get them sport this first, of course. Beans. Getting rid of this Admiral is kind of nice here. We nah. Be nah. We really just have to stall for a couple more turns here. Is there a reason to deadly? I believe we do, because we need cards. That's pretty good. We are very low on health. We need some blocks, though. We do not. The double ones might actually cost us the game there. It's so unfortunate. What do we even do here? Come on, man. We need two more turns. It's going to be really hard to pull this one off. Very difficult. We'll do this in Wrath, I suppose. Can play around it, of course. It's better than mix up Grave Digger here. Why not rat the Spires? I could, theoretically. That dies to Kanga, of course. That's so annoying. Damn, we used the Deadly last turn. He's running Mirna in this deck. So we're taking two here. This is gonna be very difficult. Need a block! We rolled the you know many ones we rolled this round. Thank you, Power Cell. Why can you notice a time warp? One, two, three, lol. What are you saying? Being ignored totally? Time warp. Dude, you have to stop. That's too much, man. What do we even do here? We're gonna lose this game. We roll a three. And if he plays a nut, he wins no matter what anyway. I guess a zero health nut, this will work against a zero health nut. If he has all walnuts, we might have a shot here. He has a weenie beanie. Uh, guac. There's no way out here, right? No. All right, five. Keep it going. What is this? I'm sorry, I'm a little behind in the chat here. But you guys, again, if I don't respond to your messages, it, it doesn't mean I'm ignoring you. It means there's a room here with 200 people. So theoretically, I should be responding to you once every, you know, hour at, at most. You can't... Oh, whatever. Inferno Punch, your link isn't working. I'm, I don't click on YouTube links during the stream, you guys. I don't see Joe King in the chat for some reason. It's, there's something wrong with this Twitch chat. I'm gonna try to get it better. Okay, we'll do this. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted from the game. It's just because of what's going on in the chat right now. Um, let's see if I can go to the channel and see if I can do this. There's a thing called Legacy Pop-Out that makes me see everyone. For some reason, the regular Pop-Out does not. 
It doesn't, it's not gonna, I don't know what the thing is. See, I can't see joking in the in the chat for some reason. When you play Pine Clone Molecule Dex, it's not lethal, it's lethal. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> Colorblind. That's interesting. <clears throat> Line dancing gets zombie goes here. Uh, Matt is sending me an aggro deck. What do we do? There's no point in getting that one, so I guess we'll just go here. <coughs> this fire rooster is going to be toasty. He played around line dancing zombie there, which is kind of cool. Maybe he was trying to front it in case it was like Abracadaver. Or, uh. I think it's Wrath. Actually, no. If they go, if he goes and fronts the, it's like this. And this way, the fire rooster plus the line dancing zombie can destroy Briar Rose if he fronts it. Pff, didn't go for it, huh? Really? Is there a point in gravestoning something here? I guess Fire Rooster kills Briar Rose, the one in their hand will kill him now. Actually, we should have gravestoned this one so he doesn't block and get Scorch here. Or Super. Please just get heal. He kills this one?! He's not protecting his Briar Rose, damn. Okay, so I'll look at the aggro budget solar flare. This deck looks perfect, absolutely perfect, amazing. Harsh? Such a sad play. But this in Wrath is the play. That Briar Rose is so harsh. Where is our Pogo mix of Gravedigger combo? Nowhere to be seen. This is a good, you know, good player with a good ramp deck. Yeah, I saw the lethal Mila. Don't have an answer. I don't know. What, is there a point in rapping? It just depends if we get next turn. If we get a plumber next turn, then the play is going to be only plumber. If we get fire rooster, it's only fire rooster. Infinity clones will take this out if we wrath, which isn't bad. I guess we'll wrath this one. <laughs> Am I gonna play Gwent? Maybe? <laughs> Who here wants to see me play Gwent in a couple hours? I should have gone face! You're right! I should have gone face there! Wait! I just topped at this line dancing zombie! How did you know I was gonna get this? <laughs> what is Gwent? Gwent is this new card game I play. Um, We're very close here. <laughs> if we would have gone phase with that wrath, this could be lethal right now. Three and five is eight. <sighs> Chances are we don't block. What is that? No! Do not time me out on this stupid Bixby! What the f Really? I have to disable. I'm rooting my device and disabling Bixby. Just prevent me from making that play. Why did Bixby go on there? I think I said, hey, Bixby? Hey, Bixby! Hey, freaking Bixby! Hey, hey Bixby! Stupid Samsung has this virus programmed into it called Bixby. It's this thing. We could have won this game too. We actually could have won this game. You can see it. <laughs> Is he watching the stream? <laughs> hey Bixby! It literally... He must be sniping. 
<laughs> I would be surprised that someone who watches the stream is using a freaking ramp deck. I think if someone is using a ramp deck, most likely they watch the stream. Come on, think about it. And and his ultimate league. What is? <laughs> I'm just not even gonna count that as a win or a loss. That's so annoying though. My phone, this is a Samsung phone, they have this thing called, I have to disable this. It, you notice it doesn't even give you an option to disable it. The only way I'm going to be able to disable it is if I root my device. I guess I'll just do that. It's so stupid. The chat's frozen too. Oh, it's going on today. No. Same guy, no. I'll, I'll do the chat, redo the chat, I guess. Play this as a tempo deck? Yeah, we are right now. That was so stupid. You guys saw what happened there. It's like the Siri of Samsung and it sucks so much. Who's Destroy for you? It's probably someone. Probably someone here. It's all Bixby's fault. It's actually the first time it's ever happened on stream before. It's just so annoying. There's this whole button on the phone that if you accidentally press it, it just goes, quits everything you're doing. What the? Really? Now the whole thing just froze. <sighs> what is going on here? Get back on. Quick. Hello. The Bixby virus is taking over, you guys. Stupid Bixby. Stupid Bixby. What just happened? What is going on? Could you please? Dude. Okay, beep beep boop. Oh, here we are. We're back, sort of. Uh, come on. Come on. There. Ah, we're back. The, the Bixby virus, you guys. Disable the what? The Bixby? I don't, there's no way to actually disable it. I have to root my device. I'm not going to do that on stream. Someone please make a Bixby meme. Pacific Mall, the Chinese will make any shit happen for twenty dollars. <laughs> True. I think it's Kanga environment. Bixby is like the Siri. What the heck? You're killing your own guy? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, that was a good play. I mean. Got him. Sir Leg Range. They play slime dancing sound behind you strength. Bixby activates. <laughs> there you go, Sir Leg Range got it. <laughs> I'll save that in the meme folder. Uh, Bixby. Sir Lagrange. I'm pronouncing your name right, correct, Sir Lagrange? Uh, what do I do here? Just this? Oh, wrong way. Dixby. That happened. We all one. Yes, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Stupid Bixby. Shabam. Chance back. Awesome snake. All gear deck right now. RNG. I have a very similar deck like that to um, Huge Giganticus RNG deck. I must have that on YouTube somewhere. It's almost this exact deck with with with, with HG. 
Now what? I guess they should have fire roostered here. Hmm, doesn't really matter. are better. This will have, he can have an answer for. Unless he kind of doesn't. He can heal again. Um, I think Mix of Gravedigger's the, the one. He needs exactly squash. This he really has no answer to. I think this is better. Okay, guys, just a kid. Feel bad for him. Uh, five damage. Let's just dies instantly. <coughs> that happens. I just need one damage now. The shark makes this very difficult. Plant food? What about plant food, though? I think it's gonna be hard to get six damage. Well, plant food anyway will do six. But it'll do 6 plus 6, then we won't be able to block. This is a tough decision, actually. Do we front him with the shark? Because plant food will basically make it. We can't even block now, but he usually wins anyway with plant food. He has a whole lot of cards in his hand. I think it's like this. We have, you know, we have Plank Walker next turn. That should be able to get it done if we can get past this turn here. Can I do the event? You mean the daily challenge? Sure, I'll do it after after we're done here. Wow, if draws cards, that's uh, very likely to get a plan for them still. He should still go for it if he has it. Didn't get it. Does he not have any plays? He's gotta at least put a minion down here. <laughs> he is healed! Okay, Plank Walker now. Brain Vendor, Mix of Grape Digger, Bad Moon Rising. I, I've definitely done that on stream before. Maybe it's not on YouTube. <laughs> Flourish has flower synergy with Briar Rose. There you go. <laughs> Sounds like a good strategy deck. Okay, come on. <laughs> Worst Plank Walker ever. Should be enough though. He probably doesn't doesn't run squash in this deck, and he's probably not gonna have a team up in his hand for Cobb Cannon. So, Fry Rose obviously doesn't get it done. That gets it done. Uh, this will become a seven-seven swashbuckler synergy. <laughs> These two trade. I actually hit. Swabby procs a block, so it's as good as Gondola there. Brain Vendor Transformation Station. Interesting. I, I think your deck is fine. I can do RNG HG, right? My current HG list is very similar to that right now. The RNG list. Um, he didn't have a big answer last turn, so let's just do this. Pogo's viable there, too, but this is fine. There's no way for him to field clear multiple... <laughs> Can you give me snot garbage off the plank walkers, please? <laughs> this 
He's gonna have to get to seven somehow. That's I mean. You know, if he the thing he could win with, which maybe Pogo would be the better play, is just magnifying grass plant food could really could actually win the game here. Actually wait, yeah. Cornucopia great zucchini. This is interesting. In strike through versus strike through, the zombies do win. Uh oh. Wait. Uh, well, he needs to, again, roll, roll double ones in order to win with that. Come on, man. He needs to roll a one and he wins. He rolled a one already on the on, on that one. Yes. Thank the freaking lord. <laughs> this actually gets buffed up twice. I am a gravestone! Go get him, Swabby. Ah, that's legal. <laughs> he almost rolled double ones there. Come on, man! Pogo transformation station. Yeah. Briro should kill the plant hero when they play a flower trick. <laughs> Uh. Okay, um... Not horrible. Pogos are really good against Green Shadow. This is a, it says rank 10, he's really rank 30, I believe. Oh, it's so annoying. Is this the last game? Yeah, I guess this will be the last one. I don't have a thing here. I'm actually putting this here because we don't want to take the five damage. Bean decks are good. I put so many things in this deck to play around beans. I guess I had a. Did I have a Conga early? This is so annoying. I guess we'll go Wrath. A Conga would be so good here. I guess we'll go Wrath. I don't have a choice. <laughs> this DGM the cat. Wow, super happy to see Grosher and get so much more value out of the wrath. Amazing. Coffee and a bean deck, yeah. This is, a thing. this is fine. We actually have Pogo here. We're in a really good shape now, actually. This green shadow doesn't have ways of really clearing like small stuff. Oh, that just prevents it. That's so <laughs> he got me. He got me. Ah, uh, so Pogo will bounce wherever it is, take this out, pretty cool. How is it possible that you have 500,000 views and you have 200 people? So again, if you have, first of all, 200 people is how many people are here on average during the stream, but throughout the stream, there's a thousand people in and out. People just don't stay for the whole two hours. Um... I don't know, like that? Weird? Strange? Um, so there's about a thousand people a day for every stream. I stream twice every day. So if you get two thousand people a day, so how long does it take? That means after if you stream for three hundred days, so you have three hundred thousand viewers. And that's not even a year. So I stream more than I stream more than three if you take out fifty two from I stream about three hundred days a year and I've been doing it for a year and a half, two years basically. That's how that happened. What do we do here? Line dancing zombie fruitcake? Let's do Pogo. Pogo gravestone, maybe. It's going on Elsteroni. Welcome. That happened. Could you stop it? Card. Where's Bungie Plumber? It's not good. That happened. Ugh. I'll just replay that. 
Where is all of our small removal? I put the bungee plumbers and the congas in for this reason, and it's just not happening. Come on, man. Where is all of our small removal? <laughs> this is not good. I guess it's just pogo fruitcake. I need to start winning here. I don't really know what happened in this game. Yeah, that happens. But you know that's gonna get bounced, right? Dude. That was a weird play. We're taking this, actually. Enjoy your card. Wait a second. That was such a bad play. He knew I had two pogos in there. We knew I had at least one pogo in there. Where is our small removal? Come on, man. It's just a mix of gravediggers, sadly. I guess we should have put that on his environment. Hmm, oops. Yeah, we definitely should have put it on his environment. Wow. <laughs> this is a fruity guy. Yeah. Spilling fruit cake, betraying us. This definitely should have gone in the environment. Whoa. Bean. <laughs> Could win with a lot of ones here. He rolls a one. He rolls a one. And he rolls a one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if I would have played on the environment, I actually would have would have survived there. He rolled triple ones just now. Sadness. I have to play one more game. I'm definitely not stopping there. <sighs> Come on, man. There's nothing you can do about that. I'll 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 definitely fight viewers today, don't worry. Dude! Dude! <sighs> okay, let's go. Not bad. Go! I don't know, do we waste a bungee plumber on this thing? We could probably just get it with the conga next turn. But I think about Battle Royale games, they're okay. I'm not gonna stream them, but... What does subbing do? It gives me $2.50. Um, it also gives you... It also gives you, um, subscriptions. I guess I'll do this. Um, it also gives you, like, the special chat emotes. It gives you a little thing next to your name, so I notice you more in the chat. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, it's free. That's what it does, you guys. This is good, very deck. I think Pokemon Mix of Grape Digger is going to wreck this guy. Da da da! Well played. Flying Dancing Zombie, such a good control card. Sort of could see the Strawberry coming there. Uh, so we have Pogo into two mixed up grave diggers. We are absolutely wrecking this guy. So easy to control berry ducks like this. Fine. <laughs> Double Zombot from Bad Moon Rising. Amazing. Uh, like this. I actually went in the wrong lane, but went to it anyway. Is Walnut good? Oh yeah. You can use aggro, you can use control, ramp, everything. Did a lot of Walnut decks last season, I think. Here we 
go. I feel like this deck is performing really well. We had a couple of slight mishaps. Um, I believe we do it like this so the pogo survives. And then we can actually kill the Strawberryan, which is amazing. And we'll just mix up Grave Digger again. There's no need to get the five damage here specifically. We have the Plank Walker and stuff. So now we can actually mix up Grave Digger and either Bungie Plumber or Environment, or, po or actually re up the Pogo. Probably is the best play. MUG, Pogo in the middle. Gargalith is not a very good card. Let's try to again time or keep the questions on, on the subject here, okay? That is absolutely useless. We got this from... I don't know where he got it from. Um, I think getting another bounce next turn is fine. This will proc the block and perhaps make this do more damage. Then if he gets rain or bubble, we're fine. I guess procking the block is worth it. So Super will take this out, but it's again, it's worth have him having an empty block meter so instead of ringing up the pogo immediately. And he got Super. Should you craft pogo, fire rooster, black IP, or pear cup? Um, I would say it depends on your decks. Gut reaction is pogo. Depends. Do you have mix of grave diggers? Do you have a good, you know, lineup with the pear cup to actually play control? It really depends what you have. But Black IP is also kind of all around. If you play a lot of Mega Grow, if you don't play Mega Grow, I don't crap Black IP. I'd say maybe Pogo. Um, yeah, so we just mess around this turn. Plank Walker's coming right up. Plank Walker's a little slow at 8. Look at this empty turn here. I know we're not running anything on 7, but didn't even get Shark. He has a couple berry blasts in his hands, it doesn't really matter here. That happens. It doesn't even kill that, dude. I could re this up. I also could just go plumber to face here and almost always win. Eh, why not? <laughs> the safer play, of course, is to put the pogo back in the thing. Now we win. Alright, 7 and 2. Do you win more just to make an even number? I say we win 8 and 2. It's the best fusion card. I don't know. Gatling P on top of a P patch is pretty good. Game nine. One more. Fine, one more. Let's go overtime today. We're overtime already. Is control boogaloo a thing? So again, the control the splash boogaloo seems like the good control boogaloo yeah. deck. The one with the octo zombies, I think is just way too slow. Octo zombie is not strong enough as a finisher. Um This is okay. Again, what's the worst? I, I don't spend time thinking this. There we go. Go dickweed. <laughs> Pass. But dumb. Should you spend money to cheer? If, only if you want to. Zombie. Anyway. 
can always kill the environment if he plays d Dickweed here, so might as well play this on the ground and bait it. <sighs> MUG Plumber looks pretty good. If we don't use the Plumber, we can actually Shark plus something next turn. So that'll be a good turn 7 play. I don't know this control spit out. It's called pass spit out, basically. It's control deck, I suppose, but that just happened. It's, um, this one. Now we can shark bungee plumber slash shark environment should be fine. <clears throat> Tempo is real. Well at least proc the block instead of the plank walker. It's at 20 health. Doom shroom. Uh, we'll probably need to save the this for the plank walker, I guess. Is moving fast. That's interesting. Uh, let's still go here. We want the six damage to hit. Put a bunch of guys from to deal with here. Swabby. God, he already used his Doom Shroom, which makes this a lot more reliable. Best deck is 40 bugs. Interesting. Because we have another Sham Rocket. Double Berry Blast? <clears throat> that means he's out of big removal, probably. It means he doesn't have Doom Shroom, so the second Plank Walker, uh, possibly into Gravestone, should be fine. Another one! Plank Walker <laughs> should be able to make itself. <laughs> Got Gondola, super happy with that. We have a little imp card draw synergy, which is kind of nice here, I guess. Um, wow. We have some really interesting decisions to make here. Um, we could plumber this to get... No, wait, no, that doesn't help. This is gonna... Oh, what do we do here? I mean, we can gravestone this one, but it's not gonna be able to spawn anything next turn, so we just do the six damage. These will proc the block. This will actually make something if we don't gravestone. Yeah, it's definitely not going to gravestone this. What else do we do here? I think we keep the environment in case he has one. Is there a point in... I think we just... I think it's just pass. That happened. That's down to two. These should proc the block. And then Gondola now will be able to hit face for five and make a guy in the water. You know, if it ends up being a... a a Mondo Bronto, we're just gonna be in freaking good shape here. And that's not bad, it's a 3-2, it gets it done. We can remove the Gravit Tree, so we, we should have this game. We actually don't even have a place for this, but it's fine. We have so many tricks that we, we really can just remove what he does and win that way. So we have Wrath kills this one, the armored guy, and we also have... Okay. So he heals a little bit. And makes it rain a little bit. Um, damn. So we definitely want this to survive. So this dies. So we always fruitcake you. And we always plumber you. We want him for that five, definitely. I suppose we might as well do this. I don't think we do any of these. We'll save these for next turn for the shark and stuff. Oh, Wrath to Face, of course! I forgot! It's six damage! Oh, I forgot about that! You're right! Oh, I rolled a three! Ah! Come on! Yes! I forgot! I forgot about the 6 damage Wrath! I don't even look at Wrath as the card that does- it does 6 damage if all of your lanes are filled. Thanks, chat. I did not remember that. 8 and 2, amazing! 
Eight and two. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Woo! <laughs> even though, I, you can argue that wasn't even necessarily the best play there, but come on. If you get the six damage wrath, you gotta go for it. You have to. Come on, guys. Um, <laughs> we would have won the game the next turn anyway. Shark plus plus plus. He was out of big removal. and We, we definitely would have won the game anyway. Thanks, chat. That's how it's done. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was amazing. So, uh, this deck did perform well. I don't... Cons I, I really look at this deck as having performed extremely well despite the little losses we had. Uh, they were very circumstantial. We faced a bean deck. I literally built this deck, the early game, in the two drops to play around bean decks, and we had the whole game where we had, like, no small removal. Uh, besides for, like, a fruit cake, which ended up killing us in the end, so... Uh. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. That was really, really fun. Peace! This is Fry.